Welcome, Welcome to Mom, Mom vs. Chef. chef. A competition where a professional chef and a mom cook head to head, preparing the best dish possible with one secret ingredient. Our first competitor is Hannah Williams. I'm Hannah. I am a mother of two. I have a three year old and a 10 month old. And I'm a home cook. I've been cooking my whole life, but I've never taken a cooking class. I used to check out recipe books from the library and <laughs> bookmark them and do my like nighttime reading. So I'm hoping that that helps me out in this competition. I really want to win today because I want to make my kids proud. When I left the house this morning, my three year old told me that I was a very good cookie. And I think that meant cook. He might have just meant cookie, but if I can come home and tell him that I cook something delicious, he's gonna be so proud of me. And competing against Hannah is professional chef Stephen Fretz. What's up, guys? I'm Chef Stephen Fretz from uh, Executive Chef Managing Partner of the Church Key here in Los Angeles, California. I've been cooking uh, something like 21 years. I kind of come from a, a higher end background. We kind of take on the world cuisine, which we bring to America and call it modern American cuisine. I have nine nieces and nephews. I feel like I have some sort of ability to cook for children. What would winning mom versus chef mean to me? Well, you know, bragging rights with my three older sisters, right? Welcome, Hannah, Chef Stephen. Today, you're gonna be competing to make the tastiest dish for featuring one secret ingredient. Let me introduce you to our panel of judges. Hi, I'm Kai, and I'm six years old, and I like playing my drums. I'm Justin, and I'm nine years old, and I like to do acting. And your final judge is me. I'm Andrew, I'm 25 years old, and I like race cars. So I think it's time to find out what the secret ingredient is. So chefs, whatever you cook today has to incorporate this secret ingredient. It is not going to be easy. Justin, will you do the honors, please? You guys know what this is? It looks like horse poop. So chefs, today your secret ingredient is spinach. I was hoping not to get something green like broccoli or spinach or something like that. Anna, how do you feel about spinach? I've never met a kid who likes it. Oh gosh, I don't want it. Chefs, you have 30 minutes to cook your food. And your time starts now. Okay. Spinach is one of the hardest things to get into a child. So I'm thinking, how can I incorporate this green color? My mind immediately goes to one of my son's obsessions, which is Minecraft. So I'm gonna make green creeper Minecraft pancakes with an egg frittata that is also green, and I'm gonna turn that into a pixelated tree with a bacon trunk. I've never put spinach in a kid dish. Generally at the restaurant, the big faux pas is putting anything green on the dish. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna go with something cheesy, like a cheesy Alfredo sauce. Kids love cheesy, they love pasta and I think it's a good way to hide the, the spinach, right? So I get my eggs in, I get about a cup of spinach in, and I get a little bit of milk. This is gonna be for the frittata, and I blend the crud out of it until you can't really see the spinach is in there. Hoping that I didn't over blend it and this foam goes down. If it doesn't, I'm just gonna have to scrap this whole idea. We'll probably just start off with sauteing the onions and some garlic. I don't know if kids like garlic, but they're about to get some. Reduce that down uh, with a little bit of chicken stock. I think I found some cream, and uh, we'll just mount that with some cheese. Cut it with some acid from some lemon, and then hopefully um, we'll be able to disguise the spinach uh, the way we need to for the kids. All right, I'm gonna have a drink of water. So the pancakes come off, taste them. It's a really overpowering taste of spinach, and it's not supposed to taste that way. And I'm hoping that the judges are not gonna notice. Hey, chefs. You have 15 minutes left, so hurry up. Uh -oh. I'm just starting. How does that taste? So what's your favorite food? Pasta, salmon, broccoli. I think my favorite food is steak. Oh, like I love steak. steak. So I'm looking over at Hannah and I notice like she has kids and she understands the mindset of kids and she's putting together this puzzle of a, of a dish. I, I thought to myself, this is actually, you know, really smart. I hope the bacon translates as, this, as the tree trunk because this is all banking on the fact that these kids know what Minecraft is. Now for the face on this pancake, I usually use blueberries to make a face. I go to the pantry and I don't see them. So I grab the chocolate chips, they're super hard. I hope that the pancake is warm enough to melt it a little bit. I'm just kind of all over the place at this point, but it's too late to change my mind. You know, as I'm making my dish, I do, I do think that the kids are gonna enjoy my dish. I'm feeling fairly confident that uh, I might have this under control. What's up, Kai? <clears throat> what are you making? I'm making a pasta Alfredo sauce with bacon. We're gonna have spinach. I knew it. A little bit of lemon. I was Parmesan smelling cheese. bacon over there. Yeah, right? I love bacon. I put bacon in everything. Thanks, Jeff. You're welcome. Hey, Hannah. Hey. How's it going? I'm not quite sure what boys this age are into, but I've heard a lot about Minecraft. You know, I don't really know that much about Minecraft, so I feel like you should have catered towards my likes a little more. I feel like you can 
appreciate theme. We'll see if it works. <laughs> hey, chef. You have five minutes left. Oh boy, better start plating. Start wrapping up. While I'm cooking, I'm thinking about my kids. I'm thinking about how much they look up to me, and I'm hoping still that I can make them proud, but seeing how things are going, I'm not feeling so good about myself. Constantly, I'm, I'm stirring the sauce to make sure it doesn't burn, right? On the hot plates, sometimes that direct contact can can burn your cheese. Smelling Chef Steven's food is really putting a damper on everything. So at this point, whatever it is, however it looks, however it tastes, I just want it to get on the plate. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stop working, chefs. The competition is over. We will now judge your dishes. Ooh. Hannah, can you please describe your dish? What I made for you is a Minecraft breakfast. When I think of spinach, I think of that bright green color. And when I think of bright green, I think of the creeper from Minecraft because my son is obsessed with it. Do you guys know what Minecraft is? Yep. I do, I do. I have the game. Yes. So you have a green creeper pancake with chocolate chip face and a green egg and bacon tree that's also like the trees from the game. And I don't know what kind of toppings you guys like on your pancakes, so I have some melted butter and syrup, and I hope you enjoy it. You love eggs? Um, but, not really. But, but it's a it green salt. egg. <laughs> wow, it's really there's a good. lot of spinach in there. It tastes like green tea and it's really good though. Do I have a mustache? Uh, yeah, you have a little mustache there. I don't think you disguise the spinach as much as you thought you would in the pancakes, but as like a spinach bread kind of thing, it's actually really nice. I like the bacon. The only thing that I didn't really like was the chocolate chips. The chocolate and spinach is a li little weird combination. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you. Chef Steven, can you please tell us about the dish? I kind of went with the, the cheesy goodness of, um, of pasta. So I made, a, I made a, um, a bacon Alfredo sauce with a little bit of garlic, some onions, uh, a little bit of lemon, and then a lot of Parmesan cheese, sour cream, and cream. And then you have your spinach just at the end that was folded in. Please enjoy. What about the spinach in there? It's not as disguised as Hannah's was. I can taste a hint of lemon in it. It's really good. Like the cheese is very good. It's very tasty. Honestly, I wish the spinach was coming through a little more. The spinach is not helping the dish. Thanks for everything, Chef and Hannah. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Chef and Hannah, we need a moment to decide. So spinach, huh? Oh what do you think? Oh my gosh, kids are just unpredictable. You know, I don't, I'm not feeling really good about what they thought so far. I keep thinking back. I should have put less spinach in it. It still would have been green, and it wouldn't have tasted so much like spinach. Yeah, I think the point so was rushed. to use spinach, you know? That's what they gave us to use. So, you know, I just wanted to make it cheesy. We'll see what happens. It's a total, I feel like it's a total toss up. So who do you think did a better job? I think uh, Steve. I think Hannah. Because of the eggs, um, I didn't really taste the spinach in yeah. it. Even though I ate it. Chef Steven had a little bacon bits. Yeah, I mean, it was very tasty. Which one do you think? I don't know. They both had good things. I, know, I, I think so good. both. Both are good? Mm -hmm. Well, only one can win. Let's bring the back in. I can see a little bit of, of hair sticking out of your nose. Chef Steven, Hannah, thank you. You prepared some amazing food today. Fortunately, we can only have one winner. Chef Steven, your food was tasty, but Hannah, I think your food was tastier. Hannah, you're the first winner of Mom vs. Chef. Congratulations. I was not expecting to win at all, so I'm still kind of in shock, I think. They announced my name that I won, and I just started shaking. I came here because my two sons think that I'm a really good cook, and I wanted to prove them right. I wanted to show I that it. I could do it. I love it. So I get to go home. I had awesome. the fiercest competition ever, and I <laughs> thank you so much. I thought this experience was fantastic. What she did with Minecraft was really cool, and the kids really gravitated towards it, and it, it kept their attention while they were eating. So guys, today the mom won. Thank you both for coming in and cooking food for us. It was really amazing.